What's up people, it's your boy Jatua, and today I am here with the Xevious, and this is my craft that I've created. I have tucked all the wings nice and neatly inside the chassis, and threw some nice air intakes on there, and I am currently going to try to lift off using, go ahead and lift our gear up here, these hover pads here. That yeah, looks rather nice. Uh, I should be able to lift myself up a bit off the ground. Alright, so that should make for a nice, easy liftoff, uh, I hope. So let's go ahead and hit our SAS and uh, let's toggle our engines. And we are throttling up and up we go. Nice and smooth. <laughs> that looks beautiful. Now, if I didn't have these landing legs there, it would look a lot better, but unfortunately, once you get a certain distance from the ground, you kind of want to lower them just so you can get a nice stable stop. Otherwise, what's going to happen is you're going to float everywhere. These things, uh, these hover pads, unfortunately, don't have anything on them to kind of stop them in their one location, so... You have to treat it kind of like a dirigible, if you don't know what that is, like the Hindenburg, a blimp. And uh, you have to either anchor it, or you're going to have to, you know, go to stranger mechanisms to stop it. <laughs> like you saw the re with the Retalicon that I had tried with the anchors. Or uh, in this instance, as you can see here, I am going with a more simplistic method of just dropping some legs down. So I'm just going to spin right back around here, slow myself on down, and see if I can get somewhat of an approach here going on. Now this you got to be really careful on because... Uh, Ooh. It is not going to want to line up very well for me, and I am quickly running out of space. Quickly running out of space. Alright, so let's bring our nose down. And not too fast, not too fast, not too fast. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Ooh. All right, so next thing we need to do is uh <laughs> We actually need to turn ourselves around and get some reverse thrust going on here. Otherwise, we're woo -hoo -hoo. that light was ever so threatening. Are just gonna cruise right off the runway. You see, I'm trying to do this without anything, any UI going, just so I can kind of uh, feel this out. And now we need to kind of spin ourselves back around here. Ooh, ah. Okay, and now we can lower our gear, lower ourselves down a bit, and there you go. <laughs> Nailed it! Oh yeah, that's a good feeling. That looks beautiful. Look at that. <laughs> oh man, that is awesome. I really didn't think it would work out so easily. But there you go, that is a Xevious. I actually am going to think about using this design a lot more now that I know how to control it. And hopefully you will see this design kind of working its way into a lot more of my airplanes, aircrafts, and landers. And maybe it will help me land a bit easier on Duna since when I go over there I want to try a different lander because my last dropper as you saw on... Uh, Oh jeez, and from the from the Jaws of Defeat video, uh, things weren't looking so hot for my droppers. So 
this hopefully will help me out immensely. But for now, if you like what you're seeing, hit that like button, share this out to your friends, and also uh, drop me in a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the video. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button because I hope to see you in the next video. I'm going to get out of here. It's your boy Jatois and I'm out. Peace. Nine. Eight. Up. Or, or just go ahead and thrust right now because sure, just completely ruin my countdown and so much for theatrics. Thank you, Mechjeb, for being a douche. You are a douche.